Hey guys, welcome back to my channel as I take you on a quick getaway from Los Angeles. If you like wildflowers, give a thumbs up to this video, lol. About a two and a half hour drive outside of LA is Solvay. That's perfect for a weekend trip. Welcome in to Solvay. And because we couldn't find a flight to Copenhagen that worked well with our spring break schedule, we're here in Solving instead. This is the closest that we were going to get to Danish culture for the time being. In this video, I will show you what to see in this charming Danish town in central California. First off is the visitor center, where they had plenty of brochures on what to do. There's also a guide in there who can answer your questions. If you like Disney movies, then you must pay homage to the OG fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen. He created the story of The Little Mermaid as seen in this miniature replica of the same statue in Copenhagen. For historical background, the royal lineage of Denmark goes way, way back. And I mean way back. Today, they have Her Majesty the Queen Margaret II. The architecture of the town reminds me of the lid on the Danish butter cookies in which my mother keeps all of her sewing materials. Solvang was founded in 1911 by a group of Danish immigrants and here's a brick to commemorate the time capsule. Let us not forget that Solvang is located in the Santa Inez Valley, which is home to one of the 21 California missions built by the Spanish missionaries. I know it's mind-blowing that we have Spanish influence along with the Danish influence, but isn't that what America's about? A melting pot? Mission Santa Inez is right next to the town center and an easy walk. You can take an official tour of the mission by paying an entrance fee at the gift shop. Every kid who went to school in California learned about these missions in fourth grade. Oh, I guess we could have stayed here. There's some vacancies. And look, it's America's Best Value Inn and Suites. And all these storefronts are dressed like an old fairy tale village. Speaking of fairy tales, here's a bookstore. Right by the bookstore is the Hans Christian Andersen Museum. We didn't have time to check it out, but I would have loved to. The Mole Hole. I wonder if that's the same mole from Thumbelina. It looks like it. This is Solvang Park, where a lot of community events take place. Today there didn't seem to be any, so it was a nice green space to relax at. And as a reminder of their heritage as Vikings, here's the Viking Stone. I don't think it's Danish, but look, that Domino's has been Danishified. Everything seems Danish here, even these reminders about staying six feet away. The Copenhagen house contains stores that sell Danish items like Legos and jewelry from Pandora. In front of the building are statues to honor the founders of Solvang. And look at this crosswalk. It's a bunch of windmills. That's right, because windmills are important in Denmark. Just as what we would be doing when visiting a foreign country, we stop off at a famous place of worship, whether it be a cathedral or church. Here is the Bethania Lutheran Church that is built in the Danish style. Inside the church is a wooden ship hanging from the ceiling. I guess that's to symbolize a spiritual journey. Denmark is known for their pastries, so why not make a stop at one of the Danish bakeries? Oh, that looks very hugey. I always thought that the Danish just had the Danish pastry that you eat at a corporate morning meeting for breakfast but they had a wider selection of traditional goods. 
Hey, I've heard of the Kringle around Christmas time. Of course, here we are with their huge array of danishes. Attempting to create huga or coziness with our order of cheese danish, marzipan nut horn, and a little souvenir to take back. I guess people don't leave their strollers or prams outside the storefront here as they do in Denmark. Throughout the town, you will see windmills and a reminder that Hamlet took place in Denmark. Speaking of Hamlet, here's a Danish theater. One of these days, I wanna come back to watch a play here. This trip to Solving only makes me want to visit Copenhagen even more. In total, we spent about two hours in Solving, but we easily could have stayed here longer. However, we were on our way to Santa Barbara and needed to check into our hotel. The pastries and windmills we experienced today just made our wanderlust greater. Like and subscribe so you can see my next video on our stay in Santa Barbara. 